Hey guys, this is our group. We are from Concordia College, the school that you see behind us. Yay. It's a school situated in Hockland Park in Windhoek. We are about to show you a bit of our school, what you can expect, the people you can expect to meet. We hope you do come visit us one day because we are expecting to meet you and welcome you with all arms. Thank you. Just quickly, the coolest teacher ever. The coolest teacher in Concordia College. Mr. K, how does it come that Concordia College is part of the UNESCO program? Uh, uh, we applied. Uh, normally, there are procedures that are followed. Uh, the UNESCO as a head office here in Windhoek or the Windhoek cluster uh, select uh, different schools to become members of the UNESCO schools. So we call it the UNESCO Associated Schools. As mentioned before, you are on Concordia College School grounds. The building behind me is the admin block where we have the five HODs, head of department for languages, etc. If you will come with us, we will show you a few pictures of historic people who were at the school and now are famous. This is Amarantia Esther Huizen. She was the netball coach a few years back. We didn't find her here, but we heard she left quite a legacy. Over here we have Frankie Fredericks who is well known all over Namibia for his athletic sports and taking part in everything that he could have achieved. Above there on my right we have pictures of the principals that have dated back since 1984 to today's 2008 up to 2011. He is still our current principal, Mr. E. Kachariwa. We will see him later shortly. Um, hi, good day. I'm Mrs. Uh, CY January. I'm the secretary of Concordia College. Can you give us a, a bit of history of Concordia and for how long have you been here? Um, really, uh, Concordia's history is very tight. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All I know that uh, Concordia is, uh, is, is the first principal started in 1983. He just he was only here for one year. Then he died in a car accident. And then in 1984, we had Mr. Barber. He was the second principal. Um, after him was Ms. Van Royen, who was the acting principal. She was also the vice principal of Concordia. And then after him was Mr. De Clerc. After her was Mr. Mr. De Clerc. And then I, I, I don't know the year so well because I didn't prepare for this. But um, after Mr. De Clerc was Mr. B. Avasep. And then um, after Mr. Avasep was the current principal, Mr. E. U. T. Kashariwa. Standing next to me is our school principal, Mr. E. Kachariwa. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Mr. Kachariwa, can you please tell us a little bit of brief introduction about the school? Yeah, the school Concordia College is based in Windhoek. It opened its doors in 1983. It's almost 25 or so years ago. And uh, it was firstly a private school, but then it became a, a government school after independence. We have about uh, 1,050 learners, and we have 35 teachers. It's a hostel school. We have around 16, 17 hostel workers and 300 learners at the hostel. We were given word that a few of your learners traveled to Germany over the past holiday. Could you tell us a little bit something about the relationship between the school in Germany and your school? Yes, uh, we have a partnership with a school in Germany. One is in Tecklenburg and the other one is in Berlin. It's Bettina von Aumann. So the first uh, partnership uh, that went also through UNESCO was a success and we sent four learners to Germany. They have been in Tecklenburg and they have been all over Germany. That is exercise that was done. Now we are expecting the learners from Tecklenburg to come and visit us. The other one also of Berlin, the Bettina von Armen, they are going to be in uh, Venduk now in April. And then our learners are going to Germany in uh, September. So that is a partnership that is um, well up and working. Well, I'm Ms. Elekim. I'm the grade 11 and 12 German teacher. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how do the learners of the school react to German? How do they enjoy? How do they learn German from you? Um, it's different with each learner. Actually, most of them, I have a few that love German. I have this ones that have lost interest in German since they believe German is difficult. Uh, but most of them enjoy it quite a lot. But well, I, the thing is, most of them are actually afraid to speak the language. Yeah. <laughs> and you were also in Germany. How was it? How do you remember it to be like? Ah, it was a great experience. I think that was an experience of a lifetime. Through my studies and sports, I got to know a lot of people in Germany. Um, I'm still in contact with them. Actually, they actually helped me with whatever I need, all the German materials that I get from Germany, I get from the people that I go to know that side. So that was actually one experience that I'll never forget. <laughs> and you enjoy teaching German? Yeah, I do. I really, really do. Even though it's so stressful at times, especially when I feel like I understand something and my learners don't. So I always expect them to understand it as well. So when they don't, and I explain it over and over again, I kind of get stressed up. <laughs> the first word in German that you learned? <laughs> uh, it was to count. Actually, I, before I went to Germany, I didn't know any German, but I could count till seven. Wow. And we knew all the naughty words from the streets, <laughs> but we didn't know the meanings though, but we knew it was German. Yeah, and to greet. That was quite easy, yeah. <laughs> uh, last year we had uh, five of our students that visited Germany uh, in December. That was 2010. And uh, they're standing right here. And um, wie geht's euch? Ich bin gut, danke. Um, ich bin super. Uh, alles gut. Alles klar. <laughs> Toll. Was ist, was, ist was ist dein Name? Ich bin Loise. Ich bin Comfort. Uh, ich uh, bin uh, Paul. <laughs> ich heiße Serafia. Ich bin Jacobin. Oh, das ist gut. So, what was your experience? We want to get you guys to tell us the experience that you went to Germany. Some of us, we, we have never been there. Um, Germany was a wonderful experience for me. Um, I have never actually been to Europe, so it was my first time. I had a fabulous time. Um, we did a lot of wonderful activities, like I did even on ice, like I went ice skiing, and I, yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> okay, thank you. My experience was awesome, because I saw snow for the first time. I went to Bavaria, and I really had a wonderful time. A Christmas, white Christmas with my, fa with my German family for the first time. And it was really an awesome experience, because I, I got to share with my friends, people that I actually am um, close with. It was really cool, because I was for the first time away from my parents and my family. Wow, it was really cool. <laughs> uh, well, my experience in Germany was wonderful. Uh, I got to travel with four young, great people, and um, we had a lot of great things. We had a lot of fun, and it was very nice being in Germany, and especially the snow for the first time. So yeah, it was very wonderful. Yeah, we can imagine. Mm. Um, Germany was amazing. Um, I actually got to build a snowman, something you can't do in a hot country like Namibia. Um, White Christmas was fantastic. New Year's was amazing. I got to meet new people. It just shows that we can actually interact on the same level as people who are very far and overseas with us. It was fine. Oh yeah. Um, my experience was really great. Um, I enjoyed everything. I visited a lot of, I visited a lot of places. Um, um, Experiencing the snow for the first time was great, since you don't have snow in, F in Namibia. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Okay, would you guys like to go back to Germany one day? Oh, of course, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Why not? Anytime. Yeah. I want to stay there forever. <laughs> yeah, probably get a job there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Study there. So. How, how was school there? Well, uh, school there was great. Uh, it's just the same as here, but just some few changes here and there, yeah. Okay. Do they wear uniform as we are in uniform? No, not really. They don't wear uniform. They wear casual clothes. And it's really hard because they have to keep up with fashion trains and everything. Yeah. It's mm. hard to identify them, yeah. 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 Okay. So what did you guys learn from Germany that you can recall and never forget? Um, we learned that Wherever you are over the world, um, 
We're all the same, regardless of color, race, and tradition. We should learn to respect each other, love each other, and accept each other for that. Oh, yeah. Um, um, we um, I learned different cultures. They, um, our culture is actually different from theirs, yeah, culture-wise. Mm, okay. Um, I learned how to adapt to certain conditions, to the environment, because it was snowing there in December, it was winter time, and it was like extremely cold, something that we don't really get here. So yeah, I learned how to handle every situation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you guys for your time, and yeah, we enjoyed you guys. And I can imagine it was a good trip into yeah. Germany. Yeah. My favorite food was Hrunkhoi med med was, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Those are one of our, those are one of our naughtiest um, students at school and they're given a punishment like scoffling over there. It is scoffling. <laughs> yeah, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pula, why are you doing? Okay, <laughs> what are you doing over there? We're busy cleaning the schoolyard. Why are you doing that? Because girls did crime. <laughs> why? What type of crime? Girls did illegal things on the school grounds, and we were there, so we were also in the mix. Okay. <laughs> Those are the girls. If you can just pick, if you can just film them quickly, they are the real culprits. <laughs> Can you? I'm innocent, don't take me alive. <laughs> okay. Okay, what type of crime did you guys do? We are punished because we done something bad. What did you guys do? What were you doing? Please tell me. Yeah. Yes, we did come late to school. Is this is is that all all of you guys? Is yes. This only you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, are you part of the gangster crew? Ah, uh, I don't do that stuff. Oh yeah, but uh, your friends are accusing you that you're part of the gangster crew. I'm not a gangster, just uh. officially, you know, got swag. Uh, so why are you doing the job over there? We are naughty, and so we punish you doing. So uh, what have you learned from that? Not to do naughty stuff on school again. Okay, that's great, thank you. During your stay here, we have really appreciated your time and the time you have taken out of your busy schedule to come to our school. We do hope that you can one day come back so that we can show you much more that we haven't had time for today. You would have met so many interesting people of different colors, different races, but we all are the same on the inside. Thank you so much for doing this video. We hope that you can make this possible for our school make our own video and do bring it to our school. Thank you for bringing this whole program that you have showed us here today. We really do appreciate it. And if we had more time, we would go on to whatever time. Thank you.